All right. Hello, the world. Hello, world. How y'all doing so far today? Did it, how how y'all doing? So again, there's this whole time shifty thing. I, I'm still I'm still working on that. I'm also working on getting this cord to not fight me, um, but we aren't there yet. So we've got uh, a little bit of a different setup today. I got a new barm barm in bar boom arm in. which I just splashed all over my face and glasses. Starting off the stream awesome today. Hello, folks. Hello, world. Uh, yeah, so change things up a little bit. So hopefully it's all good. I haven't really tested it. It seems like it's close enough. So I'm testing it live. Testing in production. Never a thing you want to do. I should record five minutes, check it, and see if it's cool. But like, I kind of trust the meters. Those meters are a little bit up. We're going to back that off just a little bit. Going down to minus 1.2 decibels, and we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I need to run some tests. Okay. Probably got a little keyboard camera up there. Got some drop shadow around the sides. So, we'll see how it goes. Uh, Alright. Uh, what are we doing today? Today, we are going to continue learning Django by making a tutorial. Something I've been working on for, I don't know, a few weeks now. Uh... The history of it is, uh, I knew, I used Django a little bit a long time ago, started to get into it, didn't totally get into it, went through some of the tutorial stuff, had a rough time with the tutorial, but I was having a rough time in general, so who knows. Um, but decided that I wanted to move to using it, because I'm doing a bunch of Python, I want to use it for my little uh, localhost site here, uh, not that one, uh, this one, they're actually on which is basically just a whole bunch of naked PHP pages. And I wanted to actually get a framework under there. And I'm, when I do coding stuff these days, I'm mostly doing Python. So Django. Uh, but when I was going through the tutorial, I was really having a hard time with it. It just didn't work for me. Um, there was too much stuff coming at you in two different way, too many different ways. And like, it was just tough to kind of wrap my brain around like I did these five things and then this showed up but like sure they all had to happen but like I don't understand the connections between all this stuff so uh, I decided to kind of go through and build my own tutorial mainly for me but then I'll put it out there too um, to for getting me getting all the mechanics and the machinations and whatever in my in my head so um, that's what we've got, uh, or that's where we're starting. And might as well open up the official tutorial, uh, cause we'll probably bounce through some of it, um, as we, as we make some progress here. Uh, so I'm still, I'm still kind of using it and going through it a little bit, but I'm looking at it more as a reference than actually as a tutorial. So I'm just like, I want to try and do a thing and I try and f pick it, pick through and find the parts that I want instead of going through it from start to finish. And then often I end up going to, uh, uh, MDN Django, the Microsoft, no, sorry, Mozilla, uh, developer network, uh, docs are pretty good. And at some point I actually want to go through all of these, um, because this looks like a really solid tutorial base. So, uh, if, and if I had found this. I may not have done the thing I'm doing. I still would have taken notes and still done notes very similar to the way that I'm doing them for the tutorial because that's A, a way that I learn. B, it's notes. It's documentation. It's it's your developer notebook and what I call the grimoire, the, uh, the book of magic. Um, so we'll just kind of dig right back in. Uh, we spent a little... Hey, protocol. Um, spent a little time last night... Uh, working through the, the same thing on the tutorial. So we're just going to pick that back up because we don't need to replay it. Um, or you can go watch the replay. Uh, it is public. Yep, absolutely. I'm not sure what you mean. Is something not public? I don't know what that means. I think everything's cool with it. The more the merrier. Let me know what's going on. Yeah, the Django tutorial. 
Oh yeah, yeah, sure, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually, I'm just gonna post it on my blog. Uh, it's not public yet. Um, it's just uh, kind of in draft form on my website. Uh, in fact, I need to open it so we can find it. Uh, nope. Here, this is gonna be it. So, like right now, it's just a bunch of crap. Um, the so it's all it's all draft. But this is the mechanics of what I'm getting to. So like this is where you actually start to get into the tutorial like and it's super basic in terms of like, OK, make a directory. Whoops. Go into the directory, make a Python virtual environment like I'm doing the tutorial as if it is for somebody who hasn't really ever done much programming stuff before um, to kind of. Yeah, low level. Exactly. Um, with the idea that if you know what you're doing, you're just going to burn through that. Like you're not going to read the parts about like, hey, change the directory. You're just going to CD into it and be done with it. Um, but I'd rather I'd rather tilt it towards the place where it's accessible to more folks, even if more experienced folks will just kind of burn through it. But that's that's fine. That's no problem at all. We do that all the time. So. Uh... Oh, there you go. Yeah it's it's all good um yeah it's it's still i've taken this is like number nine of trying to get this thing done um because i keep bouncing around all over the place with it which is what i want to do but i think i've finally kind of got my hands around it a little bit now um so to start with we'll just find the directory which is here uh and we're in tutorial site and let me see i think i put a note in here where i dropped off last night yeah it i i did it a couple times too and it just it didn't stick and it's like i keep wanting to like it and i think i will if i can if i can kind of get there yeah exactly um and so that's what i'm trying to do is kind of wrap my fingers around it a little bit um I may have taken out my notes. I think this is where we left. Yeah, I played with Flask a little bit. Um, Flask felt to me like it was one of those quick start things that did a lot of work for you, which is cool depending on what you're doing, but I kind of want to have the, the full toolkit. Um, I, that may be completely off. Flask may be exactly the same thing, but that was just kind of my impression um, was that it was powerful, but not as f fully geared. Um, yeah. So I, I want, like, if I'm going to do a thing, I want all the tools at my disposal in the framework. Like, I'm sure with Flask, you can throw whatever you want at it because it's Python and you can do whatever, but like... I want the I want the full build, like the full kind of suit of armor for me. I also need to figure out a way to get chat on screen a little bit so I don't have to keep throwing it over here. I'll have to mess with that at some point. I've got some ideas for it, I just haven't done it yet. Um, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and open this. And so the last thing we did, whoops, too many things. Uh, oh, we should fire up the Django server. Uh, and actually, we'll do it. Yeah, so manage the server. Yeah, so I'm also copying and pasting all my uh, lines. Hopefully, probably. What the hell? Okay, I broke something. Manage pi. What? Uh, that's bad. Manage pi line 17 from a... I don't believe I've ever touched this file. Well, this is a problem. Oh, 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 I didn't set up the virtual environment. Aha, uh -huh, I gotcha. Uh... Let's try that again. Uh, 
Oh, that's actually a good thing. Yeah, and so that's the other thing I'm trying to do is catch all the things and document them so that if people run into them, they've got a fighting chance, basically. Because, like, that that's the type of error that if you don't know what's going on... Like, I didn't know what was going on. I almost blew the whole thing away and started over. Um, but I was like, okay, wait a minute, I'll look in the code, I'll see what's going on. And then for some reason, I was remember that I didn't have the virtual environment started. Um, but if you don't really know what you're doing, that thought process ain't, ain't going to happen. So uh, progress. And that's why it's taken a while to do this, right? So I keep finding all these little things because I want to make it a good thing. Like if this was just my notes, I, like it would be way shorter and, and done. But um, trying to do it for other people is a whole nother level. Where are we? I should have marked it. One page. Do we do that? I feel like we're down here. Oh, that's for the about page. We're not there yet. Uh, okay, we installed the app. I know we did that. This might be where we are. I think we're one below this. Okay, yeah, so we're finished this. We, okay, yeah, so now I know where we are. We're here. Because in pages views, we just added this. That was where I was testing how many lines go on the screen. So we've got this. The full file looks like that. When we start the server, the server will start working with the last message looking like this. Can use better terminology, but yeah, so okay. Error. The server in the command line running. Switch to the browser. And try to open that. And then. I didn't put in the error this time. So this is the error. Yeah, that's the other way protocol that I'm doing this is error driven development um so with the official tutorial i don't know if you heard me saying this earlier but like it would have you do all these different things and then magically something would work but i lost all connection to all those things that were happening um and it also doesn't give you an idea of like if one of those things goes wrong like the third thing out of the five that you did you could have fucked up but you wouldn't know that until you just saw a weird error message but you'd have no way to tie it back so the methodology i'm doing here is like do something and see something occur sometimes that's a good thing sometimes it's an error message which is also a good thing and then but then make progress every time so you can actually make a change see a change um and so that's where this is coming in um, we need to make two directories to fix this. Uh, how do I want to do this? Ah, whatever, it's fine. Uh, so, so up the server. Uh, eh, I'll do the make dirt stuff. I, I'll I'll dig more into the details of this later. Um, pages, templates, pages. Uh. 
uh, those directories, we can now put an HTML file because that's still is fried, right? Yep. Oops. That should say home page. Oh. Uh, let's do that. Templates, pages, home page, HTML. Get rid of this for now. Restart the server, which I think is actually already going. It is. Refresh, hello world. There we go. Now I need to move it from there to there. This is done by updating the URLs file. First one is tutorial settings. Oops, that seems wrong. I need to clean this up. This is too much. Blah, blah, blah. Stop updating your first one is tutorials, tutorial site, URL. Okay, I was in the right place, wrong file. This will fail because the server is now set up to look for it here. I need to explain this a little bit more. So that's gonna fail, but that's gonna pass. Yep. So that's that. Oh yeah, put more about there. And then you go into pages, URLs, and you drop that. And now, there we go. Hello world, our homepage. That's it, our homepage is live, boom. Uh, make an about page, okay. So we're gonna start by going here. It's a 404. From your partners, use homepage. Use okay. So this is in, in this file. Just open up another, whoops. Django tutorial site, whoops. We also need that tutorial site, pages. Copy the path to URLs. Oh, you know what you could do? So, in the, I like this. Um, Django root. Set up JavaScript. On the page. To allow folks. To replace that with their path. 
So that way, yeah, we can actually make, there's no reason we couldn't make actual directory structure for the entire thing for them. We should do that. Uh, homepage. Hello world, we did this, we did this. Make an about page. Okay, so Django root tutorials, site, pages, URLs. Let's go there. Uh, pages URLs already there. Look at that right there. And then we change that to this. Actually, I think you're supposed to do it this way. So I think you're supposed to have somethings before nothings. So we're gonna do that. Pages, so we should see a terminal error now. Yep. Yep. Fix this, we're going to views. And add this. Views, add that. Oh, what do you get actually? It's about unexpected indents. Make an about page. Okay, so here I again. One of these times I'm gonna remember where we are. So are we live again? Did we fix it? Nope, not yet. Let's fix it. Wrong sublime text. Fix it. Should be good. Good. I'll render in the terminal about views. To do this, it has views. We've done that. So the full file looks like that. This will be okay, but the browser will throw an error. here to see our next error. Which is... Oh, you know what I should do is... Where's the start of making about page? Let's start out.
Whoops. About. Actually, about. Let's just do that. We got that, we got this, this, let's just put this up here. Okay. When we click on that link, we'll get a 404 page not found. What's the work we did interview? up here start by going here all right a little bit tedious but that's how we hopefully craft something good this so we've got the about figured about page showing up yet nope the template does not exist okay which is template going to exist to put this into that file uh new file paste There we go. That gets it to show up. And now we can add this line to link back to the home page. Uh, that's it. Cool. Uh, okay. To start off, we're going to hard code links. We've already got. So those are already in there. We've already got those links. Our links are currently hard coded, but we want to use Django to create them. So in pages URLs, and that is going to look like that. This gives us the ability to use pages about links like this to get our home page. I need to redo this a little bit, but it's fine for now. Home page. about page. Let's make sure everything still works. About page, home page, about page, home page. Cool.
Now we're gonna add consistent headers and footers. To start off, we're gonna introduce an error, intentional error, change homepage HTML to extends pages, comes page base, about page. And that's gonna blow up when we go here. Yup. So that's our error, fix it, create, top level dir. Uh, oh, you could do, ouch. Um, yeah, you can make those dynamic too. So Yeah, you could actually do the full make durs to make it easier for people to just see the full command that they were going to do. Um, about page okay template does not exist for that link pages we did our links headers and footers so we're back to template doesn't exist oh yeah So see this in the terminal. Uh, let's fix, we're gonna create Actually, you know what I should do is fix that, right? And actually test it. Oops. such file or directory well I would make to make such file or directory oh I've misspelled tutorial site then add that I wonder if I should do touches for those. Uh, did 
did it again. R. I. -L. That's actually a good reason to do the full make dirt stuff is to. Uh, prevent that type of error, which would could throw newer people. Well, I could throw experienced people too. Um, see, this is where I feel like you'd really do want to have uh, Two commands going. Okay, template doesn't. I thought I just made it. Oh, okay, gotcha. Well, let's try it now since we're here. Um, if we reverse these, Does that change anything? No, didn't think so. Hmm, still don't change anything. not good writing right now templates base paste save uh bith something cuz that should have disappeared templates Baster slash templates. <laughs> oh, it's in the wrong one. I see. I goofed. All right, let's take this back out. We're going to walk through this step again. Tutorial site. Wait, what's the error? Tutorial site, pages, templates. Tutorial site, templates, pages, base. I feel like I'm doing, I feel like this needs to be one further down. All right, we gotta go back into the other tutorial. Um, yeah, part two, not there. I'm just looking for the word templates real quick. Projects, template settings, describe, appsters, installed app, templates. <laughs> 
this is another one. Like, just check, just get me to render. Don't worry about. So this is all using here. Use the template system. That's probably where we want to go. Oh, well, no, that was. Oh, Durs. No, wait, hang on. Let's look at the nodes. Base Dur. Yeah. Baster templates. Okay, so this is what we want. Overriding the project's templates directory. First, we'll explore overriding templates by creating replacement templates in your project templates directory. Templates, templates, templates. Example creates a file. Templates, admin, base. Okay, so it should, it does look like it's in the templates directory up here. But why didn't it catch it? Oh, you know what? I'll bet you got to restart the server. Template does not exist. That slash pages slash base. Ugh. All right, what are we doing wrong? It's back all the way out. I bet it has to be in here. But that's certainly not what it looked like. All right, one more time. And then we'll just try that and see what happens. Yeah, pages base. Okay, that's the error that we've got. Pages base. Make this directory tutorial site templates. Tutorial site templates. Then add templates based on HTML. We're gonna try this. Still didn't work. Okay, what the hell's going on? Oh, this time I didn't put that in. Okay, 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 okay. Hopefully this works. Still not there, but let's restart the server. Still not there. <sighs> what the hell?
Vister, Vister. Mm, come on. Okay, templates, template language. Tags, filters, comments. Good lord, this is tedious. in Django tutorial and shaman them, but it's better to set up relative paths for your path variables. You can set it up like so. Ooh. This is templates. This is talking about templates. Oh, this may be an old post. 2010. Because uh, we've got templates, durs. Base dir slash templates. Okay, so that's got to be the top level directory. Why aren't it working? We've got it in both places. So here's templates base .html. Here's templates. Here's base .html. Oh, let's just put something there. Still nothing. I am clearly missing something. This is looking for pages base. That's not what we want. We just want base. That's going to be a problem. So let's get rid of this. This one's wobbly and I don't like it. Don't save. Base. All right, there's our base. Where's our homepage? Templates, pages, homepage. There we go. Okay. This is the right way to call top level templates. Seems like maybe, I don't know, top level. No, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Probably makes sense. Well, that was fun. That's why we go through it, because that would have completely, completely messed with people. Based purely off the fact that it completely messed with me. Let's delete it real quick. Whoops. Okay. Yeah. Because that error is going to be different now, I think. 
Template does not exist at base. Yeah, see. Where's our terminal? about how numbers and error messages will change. Oh, that's good. Highlight the parts that matter in the error messages. Um, that's a pretty good call, actually. Like that. Headers and footers. Okay. So here's our header, here's our template tutorial site template space seven twenty two um Base is being called, but we aren't populating it. There we go. Fix, add homepage HTML. So now we go to our homepage. Do that. There we go. About page. basic CSS stuff. Okay, cool. All right. <sighs> That's in pretty good shape. I like it. I'm going to grab a drink and they'll come back and keep working. This stuff, uh, this stuff is, wears me out. Um, that's, an, that's been an hour. It feels like four compared to like when I'm coding and four hours feels like one. Um, but um, I want to get this for me and for, because I think we can make a cool one. Um, so cool. Uh, be right back. I still didn't come up with a be right back thing. Um, be right back. Oh, I'm probably gonna get copyright struck with this. Oh, be right back. 
first episode of the second series. Oh, that one's pretty good. I was that the dude who was in. Whatchamathing? thing? The one with the AI. Ex Machina, maybe? Doesn't look like it. Star Wars sequel trilogy. Oh, Hux. Oh, Ex Machina. Yeah, yeah, that is him. Thought that looked like him. Be right back. Also the poor thing, but you know, I'll be right back. Oops. So I just thought of a fun way to mess with people on conference calls. Uh, so I don't use my webcam during conference calls uh, for a couple reasons. One, I don't like to, which is funny because I stream. But two, it's all hooked up to my stream machine and not my work machine. But you can create virtual cameras. And so you can create a virtual camera that's just your headshot that looks like your corporate headshot. So like our uh, stuff defaults to corporate headshots. So you could grab your corporate headshot or something very much like it, but actually have it be video. And then just like every, I don't know, five minutes blink just to mess with people. <laughs>
All right, using video. That's just a See the problem is a couple of my coworkers follow me on Twitter, but I don't think they'll ruin the surprise. Uh, yeah. Oh, you could do like the max headroom thing. Oh yeah. Oh, you could do some fun stuff with this. pretty good uh, and I think I've actually got some gifts of max headroom in here oh uh, what should I do uh, hour or something break Uh, yeah, so take a break for a minute. That way it can actually be like a sizable break. Gifts. Oh wait, I haven't put my gifts in. I haven't put all my gifts in my actual directory yet because I want to post them. And I want to categorize them, I guess. I don't know. Launchpad. You got another thing to do. I think it's in factory cache. No, factory import. New Max Hedgerum. What we got? That's awesome. That's that's the one you would do. <laughs> and you just do it just like once per meeting.
and you do it like 15 to 20 minutes, like really kind of push it. That's pretty good. See, the problem is so, some of my coworkers who follow me won't be able, like they don't get that not talking about it is going to be better for everybody. And it's not that they want to spoil it or that they want to get, they just don't, it's like, oh yeah, Alan's doing the thing that he was talking about. Or, hey, Alan, are you going to do that thing that you were talking about? Even worse. And everybody's like, what are you talking about? Yeah, whatever. We'll risk it. Um, there's only there's only one coworker that does that. A few, like, the other ones are all fine. They'll, like, they'll be waiting for it, basically. Um, and I'm on enough with enough people that, like, it'll be fine. Um, yeah, okay. Set up a virtual camera for Zoom meetings. It's just a static image of your headshot. So it looks like you aren't using video, but every 15, 20 minutes, randomly drop in a half second max headroom glitch. That's pretty good. Quarter second. This is cool because I also, I've got this app called Loopback, which I still haven't been able to get working the way that I want to. Um, that lets you, well, none of this stuff is going through yet. Cause that's all going, that's all wired into the stream machine. But like, basically what it lets you do is pipe sound f internally from your computer into another application in your computer so that you can play Spotify directly into, you know, Zoom um, or a soundboard or whatever. So, uh, but it's not, it's not working. I'm actually working on setting up a trouble ticket with them because it's not doing what, it's not doing what I expect it to do and I can't make it work in a way that I can figure it out. So, whatever. Uh, let's see, set up a virtual camera for Zoom meetings. It's just a static image of your headshot. Excuse me, so it looks like you aren't using video. That's pretty good. Sweet. X headroom. That should actually wait. Don't we put it on there? Uh Yeah, why isn't that? Oh, don't do this. Oh wait, that's the body block. About page, home page. We need to call. We need to do this. Try that. There we go. All right, back to it. Um. Oh, I actually don't have, oh, wait, do I have timestamps on this now? I don't have timestamps. I need to put timestamps on there. Um, I don't know, I go back and forth with the timestamp stuff. Um, okay, back at it, if we say. So let's make sure, I mean, could do the same thing with the about page. Okay, that's cool. Okay, super user. Create super user. 
Alanis, you can see my password. Oop, especially when I do it that way. <laughs> uh, yes, that's fine. Hide old Max up here. All right, making the first data page. We're gonna start making our first, start out by just making a list. Then we'll add checkboxes to it. Step one checklist, create a new app. All right, I'm just gonna walk through this and see how this goes. Add checklists. Oh yeah, see, look at this. I was all over the place with the way I was doing this. Yeah, you'll be able to burn through this so much faster than I'm actually doing it. Um, but yeah, that's that's part of it. Like you read faster than it takes an author to write a book. Settings. Oh, you know what you should do too. Make git repo versions snapshots of the state of each file at each point. Well, I already had that direction in there. So there's that. Add this to this file. Hmm, so I'm not really breaking stuff again. Um, So really what we want to do, right, is uh, crap, what I want to do is in templates base. Let's not do that.
Start our server up. Starting them up. Uh, you can delete an app, right? Just by deleting an app. Like just making an app doesn't do anything, right? I'm pretty sure, so we'll try that. Ooh, it does put something in there. Crap. Oh, yeah, that's because I put this in here. All right, there it goes. We get to work. Nope. We get to work. Yep. <sighs> All right, I'm just going to start moving through this a little bit because I think. So, uh, all right, we're going to try this and again. I want, like, I'm looking for the way it's going to break. No checklist. break maybe there we go checklist is not a registered namespace So the registered namespace for the URLs, how do we do that? Oops, come here. Don't we do that? So pages URLs, tutorial site URLs, that's where we do this. I think. Exploded. Okay, so I don't want to do it that way. Let's back that out. Oops, why did that explode? 
Watch name checklist not found. I thought I took all that out. So checklist, page not found, checklist. Okay, let's try that. But there's no good... Like, what was the methodology we did for the homepage? We should just do the same thing for that because we already proved that out. Page is home paid. On server, change that to include pages URLs. Yeah, so I would kind of like to have it where the 404, where you start with trying to go to the URL. Let's try that. I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but. Could explode. Oops. No module name checklist. Yeah, because the first thing we're trying to do is get the checklist. So I like that that's the first the first thing that we try. season out here. Uh, I just want to open this in another window so I can flip back and forth a little easier, which there may be a way to do that in Sublime Text that I'm not familiar with, but we're going to start with here. I don't want to change the font size, but I'm afraid it's going to explode if I do. You get a high res monitor over here, too. Uh, no module name pages, right? So we just got no module name checklist.
Let's go through these one at a time. See, I think if you run the server again here, it's still, whoops. No module name checklist URLs, okay. funny it doesn't really tell you how to add when you make a checklist it doesn't really tell you how to add the thing to your config you have to like know how to do that it seems like it'd be nice to have a little thing that says like hey do your checklist make the file don't worry too much about right now See, we've already got this error, but it's going to be the same error. Let me add this. I like that we just did the one thing there. Right now I'm not getting too much into the detail. I just want to get through the process, which I think is how we're going to run this for the next little while. I can go back and do more of the refinement later. Yeah, that makes more sense. Let's get the first one done before we spend all the time on it. That makes sense. Um, yeah, it's not bad. Um, so we're gonna put that in installed apps. Oops, I forgot to put a quote after it. We'll get to do this. So wait. Gotta do two things fix that first then actually I guess I should look at my second set of notes Yeah, see, this is where I was doing it the other direction, and I don't, I don't like that. Um, actually, what I should do? Let's get all this out.
Yeah, see, this was another way that I was doing it where you weren't actually seeing anything. And that's not cool. Uh, okay, so we're in checklist, we're in installed apps. Let's look at BB Edit, that's got the better thing. So we've done install apps. No pages, fix. Touch users, LNS. Hmm, that's wrong. I think that's wrong. Oh, maybe it wasn't. Oh, I misspelled it again. two text editors because why not all right what's gonna happen if we start the server one we're gonna go to where we start the server
Yeah, so we probably want to go ahead and put in the name and the app name here, since that's really what you'll do most of the time when you're doing these. The first time through was just showing where the connections are. Now we kind of know where that is. Um, so we're going to steal from pages URLs. Nah, because you're gonna you're gonna do that. So name equals checklist. Have just written up the notes there um but that's fine for now so checklist urls so my pages urls checklist homepage that's better checklist just like I just like that it's like homepage is its own name checklist homepage is its own name like name spacing is a little bit like I don't have my head around name spacing stuff yet yet so yeah 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 yeah, yeah. there's max Hedrum. um
Mm, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna. We'll ride with this, and then we'll go through the tutorial at some other time and see. It, it's easy to kind of overthink this, but I mean that's part of what needs to happen is thinking a lot about it. Oh, somehow I lost my camera. Oh, I see what happened. It's not attached for real. I really probably should have vacuumed out my watch my thing keyboard. I shouldn't have messed with this right now is what is really going on. with it anymore. He says, and then immediately messing with it a little bit more. Hmm, better. It's fine. I was like, what? I wonder what's behind me that this thing is going to potentially show, but there's like a garbage can in the corner, so I think it's going to be okay. I was just like, do I have just like a whole bunch of just random crap floating around? Um, all right, so we'll do the app name and, and that in there. That's fine. Um, so our error now is this, which we need to make. Like, I'm also wondering if you should just like have like open commands for like open whatever dot pi. But I think it's not that much. You want to get around and like see the site. No, um, we're just going to copy this. Fix checklist. 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 Homepage. Checklist. Homepage. Checklist views, Let's make a view. Wish I had live reload. There, that. Fix. We're gonna make it. Ooh, reload from disk. We got two things. Oh. oh, I didn't save it. Gotcha. BB Edit doesn't auto save, which I really wish it did. Yep, so now we need to make our directories.
it really kind of surprises me that after all this time, Django doesn't automatically make templates directories for you when you make a new app. Like, what's up with that? There's probably a reason, but like... And another uh, with this mission and save it to you. Yeah, so we're gonna wanna do this. such file how much you want to bet i spelled tutorial right again wrong again look at that oh did i make those directories trying to figure out if you should introduce make dir p but like i it's good that i didn't have make dir p there because i would have made a top level directory incorrectly because it was spelled wrong Let's see if this works now okay Oh, didn't do it right. Let's try that. loads there's something from pages. Checklist, template, checklist. We're going to drop that one because it's not real. This one, however, is checklist.
But how's it working? Last thing we need to do is update the link in the base base HTML template. still works. It does. Now we've got something we can work with. All right, so I'm going to do <laughs> HD, which is Hugo deploy, which deploys my site. Um, but that also runs a git commit to it. So that's how I commit stuff. So that, that makes a stamp of that file in that current state. I don't know why it's doing everything. Oh, I know why, because I changed, yeah, actually, let me look at that real quick. Um, it's 156. Whoops. Two. Pit stop. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah, I was going to look at my actual site. So and just make sure something actually turned off. Yeah. Um, I set up on my local host, whatever, that same page, this so I could watch timestamps change down to the second. And I accidentally left that in prod. So the fix that I just did is, and the reason that all the pages got updated is because they all got fixed with this. So um, hooray. Cool, I'm gonna take a pit stop, but we'll uh, come back and do it again. So, be right back. Oh, oh, it's auto playing. <gasps> it's auto playing with sound. It worked. This whole thing worked. Fixing YouTube sound and muted auto play. Fixing YouTube sound and muted auto play. Uh, it's not the best title. Uh, I actually usually don't want to have auto play start with sound, but sometimes I do, and that was the way to do it. Actually, let's see if this one actually does it. It probably not because I just closed the window. Oh, I'm not going to show that because I'll get copyright struck again um, for having even like 10 seconds of that stuff going. Uh, what was he going to do? Um, be right back. Uh, here, uh, how about this? Okay, their backs and their... This is not what I was looking for. Oh, uh, no, okay. I was going to see. Maybe it says be right back. I'm really disappointed. Like, I guess it just picked up on backs. I'm just hesitant to show anything that's not, like, free content or, or uncopyrighted content or whatever. But there you go. That'll do. Um, cool. As they say in the thing, be right back. I want to get. Oh, I need to do that. And also possibly that.
Wait. Wait. I'm drooling, excuse me. I got a 12 pack of sun kiss, so burning my teeth out. I like the new setup. I shifted everything around. I got the mic going again, or I got a new boom that's much better because it's not coming directly from a side. It's a little bit in front, so it's just not like right here. Uh, also, I dropped the pop filter, which I need to check and see about. Um, hopefully I'm not essing too much. Um, the, okay, back at it. So that was an hour or 40 minutes, whatever, uh, an hour. Oh yeah, 50, 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Okay. Yeah, so I should do a little bit more is work is identify what we're working on, right? So checklist homepage. Oh, this is something I just discovered. Pin tab. That will now keep that right there. I love it. Uh so that got our pages going. I want to do one more section and then I'm going to go join some folks in an unsafe environment um, and hopefully not die from COVID. See ya. Oh, that should be how I end the stream. I'm going to get copyright kicked for all this stuff. Um, all right, so let's go look at...
getting checklist items to show up. So I think, so that was getting our checklist going. Here is building the model. So here's where I need to figure out the right way. Oh, we should add next up is the admin page. Let's add a link to our header. song drags me out like sometimes I like the change of pace but like it drags me out most of the time so it goes away now uh, ba, 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 ba. okay so we got an admin link now right there we go admin admin get our super secret password whoops Okay, there we go. So this is one where I'm debating about like if there is, there's not really a point in trying to do like force an error here. Like the way that you're going to do this is just going to make, um, Is you're just gonna make it right so we've already added that into settings right so Set, yeah okay
checklist models. So, whoops, what are we doing there? Oh, because I deployed my site. I need to set up, oh, hey, that actually worked. Wait, I feel like I'm missing a step. That was the making the migrations, but then we need to run the migrations, right? That needs to be in another file or another editor. BBO. So we can close this one. We can open this one. Same file, something seems different. Oh, we're up top. Here we go. Do our migrate. Hmm. I wonder though. Yeah, there's no way, like you're just adding it to the admin. There's not like a good way to like force errors. I mean, you could put this code in first, but that's just like, that's not how you're gonna do it. Like the way you're gonna make a model is just like boom, 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 boom. Which again, some of the stuff you're gonna do differently when you are actually doing the 
Django for real, like you'll know, like make a view, make a model, like, um, but then this is showing you how to do it, but that doesn't work as much here, so. That did not software up. Okay. You could break off like the full files, but no, nah, you'd still want to see them there. Uh, refresh the page. You gotta click. Sorry. stuff we can just copy straight in. Checklist homepage, that's views, URLs, here's the models, whoops. Refresh this, we should see our text. That's the full page, that's good, that's it for the section, cool. And just get in the habit. checklist items on 
the display page. I think view site checklist checklist page is hot already. Okay, yeah. So I already got this working. Yeah, I might want to reverse that. I might want to do. I might want to build the checklist items first, but then this kind of. Like this takes you away from all the model stuff. No, I think I like this order better because we just did all the database stuff. Now we're just going to run that straight over. Um, I don't want to have to go through this here because that's separating all the model stuff. Adding the list view the generic class method. Not sure if you want to go this way. Yeah, this is where I need to look up. The generic class method. So there's, yeah, so there's these generic methods or these generic classes that you can use. stuff. Well, that's a lot of stuff. All right, we're at least going to get on display. We'll just walk through this and then play around with it. I like the refining part of this. Like I want to keep getting down and getting down and getting down so that it's like, here's the, the minimum you need to do. Not in terms of trying to shirk work, but in terms of like, hey, let's focus on getting all the cruft out of there. Actually, I'll feel like this. This, I like a couple of this guy's tutorials that I've seen. They're just like three or four or five minutes or whatever. They're just like boop, boop, boop. I want to go through all of those. All right, we're just going to walk through this and see what happens. All right. I think that was me breathing into the mic. Yep. That's probably where that pop filter comes in handy. But it's just such a like. I've seen people have mics that have just like a pop filter that's just the size of the head of the mic, and it's like that looks like what I want. It's probably expensive. Checklist, checklist, checklist. And put that code in there. There we go. Adding the list view. I gotta fix that. To this, whatever. All right, now we got to figure out how to do it breaking stuff. Uh. Hmm. 
URLs, views. So we're calling the view. So really what we want to do is start with the checklist. Right? be kind of a bummer if I figure out that I don't like this approach, but let me find out. Checklist items list. Which is really checklist homepage. DTS, which is funny because that's the name of my department. But it's what we're going to use. How do I get my mouse over there? That's what we're going to use to do this. Yeah, it's better. Checklist, templates, checklist, checklist, home page, HTML. This is gonna explode. Except it didn't. Right? Yep. Okay, cool. Order of this is going to be funky. Adding a list to the checklist page without using generic views. Generic views sound like the way to go, though. checklist views import checklist view so is this models checklist item
All right, let's look at this. URLs, checklist homepage. So we're already calling this for generic views from checklist.views. Models, checklist item. So that's doing a checklist item, okay. See, this is yucky. Um, path, nothing, checklist view. Oh, so this is... Oh, we can still have this as checklist homepage. Mm, this is a little bit confusing. I'm going to have to, okay, we're just going to walk with this and see what happens. I need to close all these things to start with. Yeah, that'll be fine. Um, this is the boringest stream ever, but like this is how we do it. Draft, okay, whatever. Shitty first draft. Now I'm comfortable. I can just do whatever. Uh, so URLs. Hmm. I didn't have app name in there. not needed for generic views. I'll just leave it there for now. Okay, so URLs dot pi is this. This is basically what I did in the other one. Use.py was this.
checklist, checklist homepage, which is also wrong. Oh, well, that's just that. Views. Class views versus function views. That's what's happening right now. Um, I understand it. generic, but it is actually a little more complicated, isn't it? Maybe. Oh, crap. All right, after all this, what I want to do is clear my head a little. Cannot import item from checklist views. All right, let's get this in a state that works. Where to templatize functionality so that you didn't have to write boilerplate that is the same code over and over again. At the core, their classes, Django ships with a variety of template class based views. Have pre configured functionality that you can reuse and oftentimes extend. These classes, I think, give a helper name, describe what they do. You often see these as generic views. that be callable. They must accept HTTP and a must return response. Keep that in mind. Class-based writing, we have a choice of function or class-based. Both have pros and cons. Start here. Do one of the generic class-based views closely match what you have in Yine? Yes. Can you use a class-based view just by overriding attributes? Yes. Write a class-based view then. No. Do you need to subclass your views to create other views? Yes. Do you have to dive into Django source code just to work with a, just get it, just to get it working as a class-based view? No, it's class-based view. Will your view be painfully complex to implement with a class-based view? Yes, e.g. does your view process more than one form. So we're going with generic class-based views. Simple to implement, easy to read, explicit code, fit, code flow, straightforward use of decorations, decorators, whatever. Good for one-off, specialized functionality. Hard to extend and reuse code. Handling of HTTP methods via conditional branching. All objects 
of a Django pro project, you usually have CRUD operations. So this code is repeated again and again and again, unnecessarily. And this was one of the reasons the class base used in generic here to solve the problem. Okay, I think I get what's going on. So we're gonna use the class base views. Class base views provide an alternative way to implement views as Python objects instead of functions. They don't replace function based views, but have certain differences and advantages. Code reusability using CBV helps reduce duplication. Code extendability, code structuring, helps respond to different HTTP requests with different classes. Okay. Yeah, they're harder to read. Implicit code flow. Use of view decorators, for example. Yeah, they're harder to read. So that's 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 the out right there. We're done. Um, which is one of the reasons I was struggling with it a little bit. Like I get it, but I was trying to figure out how to like kind of wrap back into it and talk about it and explain it. And without kind of the overall grounding, it's a little bit trickier. Um, So we written a little bit. We're going to get rid of all this. I'm actually going to I'm gonna take one more leap at this from a full sprint, which is we're gonna go straight through the tutorial as it exists right now. I'm not really gonna mess with it or edit anything. I'm just gonna go. Um, He says that, but it's hard for me to do that. Goodbye, tutorial site. All right, let's do it. Let's find the right thing first. Uh, we can do that through here. This keeps getting further and further down the uh, down the pipe. Whoops. Copyright. Uh, all right. We've made Django. We're in a virtual environment. We've activated it. We're gonna, we've installed Django. We're gonna build our site. We're gonna go into our site. We're gonna run our server, we're gonna look at it, that's all cool, we're gonna migrate. We're gonna run our server, we're gonna look at it, just make sure we're hot. 
Uh oh. Oh. We're hot. Uh, we're going to build that. Blah, 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 blah. Make sure it's live. Users. LNS, Django tutorial. First step. Do that in this file. You have to make this file, right? URLs, it doesn't exist. Oh, it does. Okay. This file. We're going to go to pages URLs. Here. Let's get a yellow because we don't have includes. So we add includes. Actually, let this go. Python manage run server. Explode on no module name pages. No module name pages. Run server. No module name pages URLs. Where's my secret key? Oh, we're still going to get pages URLs. Make this file. Pages, URLs, oops, gotta do the whole thing. Note about pathing, explain, blah, 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 run the server again. Pages views homepage. Go into views. Put this here. So we should start. Template does not exist. Users, LNS, Django, trail sites, pages, templates, pages. Oops. I did it again. Yep, looks weird, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna put this in our HTML file. site pages template oh wait ah I wasn't looking I wasn't looking I just ran the commands and didn't look hey that worked I'm gonna say that this VNV being white here threw me off that's what it was um,
I'm guessing I did it again. Okay, I got it. And then we put this in here. I feel like something's busted. Possibly that the server's not running. actually paste that? I don't think I did. Pages, templates, pages, homepage. Let's put some content in there. Back that up. Find our browser. There's our homepage. thing while I'm here, which is So we're good. Now we want to move it. So we're going to get our settings. Tutorial site, tutorial site. I feel like this is the wrong file. So more descriptions going here. First one, change that to that. Yeah, that's URLs. That fails, but this works. Users, Alness, Django, Tutorial Site, Pages, URLs, that. And what should happen is there's our home page. All right, we're just gonna make an about page. Click on it, it dies. Our rail. That, so it looks like that. You get a 404. Users, LNS, Django, tutorial site, pages, URLs. Pages, URLs. About. Servers complaining. Yep. Views. We'll 
fossil like that. Now you get, oh, uh, terminal's okay. That's gonna say template doesn't exist. Put this. Uh, Guess what I did now? D G A N G O. I spelled something else wrong that time. There we go. Templates page is about. Put that in there. Start our server. Whoops. Start our server. There we go. About page. This file, yep. Put a link back. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, linking our current pages. Pages, URLs. App name pages. I guess we could do single quotes since that seems to be the way of it. I get it. That's it. That wasn't made explicit to me. I figured that out before, but I it didn't stick and the other times I've seen it it didn't really uh didn't really help. This gives us the ability to use pages about like where pages is the app name. Where pages is the app name. And about is the name and the path call. Looks like this. Should do is this.
Okay, that's all fine. I'm not worried about that right now. Except, of course, I'm going to do it for real. Uh, that's going to explode. Probably. There we go. So just another error to talk about. Pages, pages URL, pages, pages run server, pages. Home page, we got our home page. Make the about page. So that's good. Name equals page Ooh, busted it that's in a comma Are we back and forth yet? Are we live yet? No, we didn't fix it. We need a comma. Still broke. I don't know why. There we go. I was just thinking. Home page, about page, home page, about page, and on the about page. Pages. all this I'm down here that's it okay cool linking our pages dynamic links oh that's what we were doing just a second ago
So just do this. Feathers and footers. All right, so. up make their no it does need to be the top I think go for templates templates hello templates I'm in the wrong file aren't I tutorial site settings oh I'm up on nope templates stirs so this one is tutorial sites tutorial sites settings. Base paste. Tutorial site, about page, home page, about page, home page. There you go. Why didn't that extend out? Should be showing me the home page there.
Because it found the template. Body block. No. Uh, is that because we need to do this? Yeah. Our belt page. Why didn't that call out? Oh, because I didn't have the extends, I'll bet. Right? Yep. we go. Yeah, let's just walk through the rest of it here. Create super user. Yes, no. Typing passwords on screen with thing directly in front of me. So there's that. So lump X2. Okay, so we got our password. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, Yeah, so this is the right way to do it. Make a page. Add link to the checklist template and the base HTML file. LNS. Oh, wait. Uh, I think, right? Oh, you didn't make checklist yet. No, oh, you're gonna do that down here. All right, that page doesn't exist yet until you make checklists. Oh, unless you're doing it to the top level. site tutorial site URLs so you get this whoops Am 
module not found checklist the module name checklist no module name checklist so start it stop it run it move it groove it all that jazz should have no checklist urls yep add that to installed apps which is somewhere here. Make our URLs. Whoa. Aha. Like that. Checklist URLs. Yeah, we do want to go ahead and have checklist checks like home page. That's how we're going to link to it. I understand what that does now. See, doing this stuff helps me learn. Whoops. Checklist home page. Yep. Checklist home page. site checklist views missing checklist checklist home page make the directories file run the server okay oh, I already had it Templates, checklist, checklist home. There you go. Boom, 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 boom. That has it working. Last thing we need to do is update the base template from. Checklist to checklist, whatever. Er Template space. There you go. Now we got something to work with. Next up, look at the admin page. 
Wait, we shouldn't create the super user up here then. So we got that. Got a link to our header. Um, oh, is that actually, I wonder, is there, no, there's not an admin app. admin index like so you can use a reverse admin list page urls follows admin app uh, reverse admin urls i don't totally get reversing but let's see if this works sweet Go to our admin page. All right, so let's make a couple uh, things. Oh, so add this to this file. So here. checklist models here Admin dashboard, but in this checklist. Admin. Now refresh the page. Whoops, start the server. Refresh the page. Checklist items, add checklist item. This is the first. This is the second. Someone's freaking out. Why is my scroll not working? Something's going on. Something's coming. My scroll's not working. Anywhere. That's not good. What's going on? Why did I just lose the ability to scroll? Oh, wait a minute. Visit the site. Okay, that works. Why doesn't this work? Okay, 
can't scroll. That makes things harder to deal with. Nope, nope. Is it everything? It's everything. I'll bet I know what happened. Probably something here freaked it out when I went to the admin site and I don't know, clicked into something. Mac, mouse, stopped scrolling. <sighs> it happened when I went to the admin, admin page. I know there's some stuff that can happen Actually, let me try this. I want to turn Bluetooth off and on. Oops, don't do that. Like the mouse is working. Why isn't the um? Is this all on the same page? Make sure Bluetooth is on, make sure devices are charged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Click the mouse or trackpad. Click the mouse or trackpad or press a key on the keyboard to reconnect this device to the computer. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. Make sure that you're using the current the correct multi-touch gesture and you have scroll speed. I'm gonna turn off Bluetooth and turn it back on and see if that fixes it. I don't think it's going to, but. Hey, it fixed it. Okay. <sighs> okay. So now we go into models and we put this in. Checklist, admin, checklist items, stuff. Are we still scrolling? Yep, okay. That's it for this section, okay. Yep. All right. So that'll do it for now. Um, I'll be back on later tonight and do some more, uh, trying to figure some more stuff out. Like I, I keep kind of getting to this same area it, and I got, um, beat up a little bit by it with those generic views and the class views. So, or the function, like I didn't understand really the difference there and I was messing around with um, some stuff and got into one of them, but had done something with the other one, but I didn't really understand the difference, but not that little, uh, this right here is where I'm out. Um, I can deal with it later, but right now I'm trying to learn as much and as quickly as possible. So I need at, I need things to be as the more straightforward things are the faster I will learn and the more I will learn. And then after that, I can go back and start messing with, uh, you know, class-based views. If I, I, I will, like I'm gonna do that, but start with a function, start with a base uh, and kind of move from there. So uh, that'll do it for now. Uh, Y'all have a good one. That's an interesting like thing. Um, Y'all have a good one. Take it easy. We'll, uh, we'll do it again soon uh, in a few hours probably. 
after uh, getting out and having a little fresh air and driving in sunshine and uh, doing all that jazz. So y'all have a good one. Take it easy and we'll see you soon. Bye. Thanks. Be kind.